What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the POCO A5 and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest project matrix from and this is the version 10.2 and this is of course based on android 14 and the build date here is of 11th january 2024 so the latest build so far right now so i have flashed the gx included variant over here again and if you don't know how to flash this rom on your poco a5 you can check out the flashing guide from the description box below and there are some notes right here you can check them out if you want to but for now let me actually show you the about section this is how it looks like it shows matrix device up top and we have the project matrix written right there and this rom is by KSS Rao so huge thanks to the developer of this rom we have the official mentioned over here and this is the project matrix logo and in case you are wondering about the security patch you will notice this is based on latest 5th January 2024 security patch and this is the 5.10 silver core kernel that you are getting right out of the box and this is how inside the android version section it looks like we have the device name and the android version is of course android 14 let me go back we have the project matrix version mentioned over here again and in case if you are wondering about the build date this is here it shows 10th january build and i have been daily driving this rom for a couple of days now and let me tell you my experience has been really really good so far i'll try to explain all the details of it but first let me show you the system settings this is how it looks like everywhere you will get this kind of animation looks really nice even if you go into the main bluetooth settings here also you will see these animations it looks really really dope and we have the system profiles right here you can enable them if you want to and in the gestures this is how it looks like we have the quickly open camera and stuff then we have the navigation mode gestures in the settings of it we have the pill length and radius customization this is how it looks like with the maximum and we have the navigation hint then the back gesture height back gesture animation and the haptic and there is the IV button space swipe to invoke assistant also should be working fine yes as you can see we have the left edge right edge customization as well and the two button and three button navigations are there as well one hand mode works perfectly fine here then we have the lift check for you can enable them if you want to but i have tested this even if i enable this show ambient it just wakes up into the lock screen whenever i pick up the device so that's how it is i'll show you this later on press and hold power button action is also there and we have the prevent ringing option and in the system updater it looks really really beautiful it shows matrix 10.2 and you can check for updates from right here let's talk about the home screen a little bit this is how it looks like for me because i have customized it this way and we have the like clock widget and stuff and the battery widget also is there and it is working fine it is showing the bluetooth battery and stuff all these things no problems everywhere you go it's just a very fast and very smooth experience that you are getting no problems whatsoever 120 hertz it's working really really well and swiping to the left side of the home screen you will get the google's discover page and swiping up will get you to the app drawer and swiping down will get you to the quick setting panel and the good thing is in the quick setting panel you will see everything is in white in the light theme if you enable the dark theme of course you can actually turn everything into pitch black no need to worry about that and we have the power menu appearing like this i have the advanced reboot enabled so i can really reboot to the recovery or fast boot from right here and these are the toggles that i have added i'm not going to show you everything but yeah these are the toggles you can have a glimpse of it in case you are wondering which launcher is this well this is a matrix launcher it shows matrix home right here also shows this animation and in the recent panel this is how it looks like and you can customize the recent panel if you want to right now i have the screenshot the lens and the clear all option and here if you go into the recents we have multiple different options like you can enable the memory info kill app then the pin app options all these things you can enable there is a shake phone to clear all tasks you can just disable that if you don't like that and right now in the recents as you can see it shows the memory info right here on the bottom and in the miscellaneous settings we have the use taskbar allow home screen rotation and this hidden and protected apps actually works this is the app lock for this rom we have the background blood depth the session disabling option action toast restart option and in the app drawer we have the themed icons for monochrome the themes then the app search bar icon levels in drawer really good customizations of the launcher and we have the lock layout add app icons to the home screen double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen is there and we have the wallpaper scrolling and zooming and the short parallax and all these customizations that you are noticing from right here in the icons of course you can change the icon packs if you want to then the icon size font size etc and the max lines for app level you can customize so that's it for the launcher settings talking about basic things in the play store it actually shows device is certified so that's really nice to have and the daily info here shows as l1 so you can stream netflix or amazon prime videos in 1080p also in case you are wondering about the play integrity stuff it shows meets basic integrity over here but banking apps i have used they are working perfectly fine for me and the ir blaster also is working fine no need to worry about it and this rom does offer google photos unlimited backup so that's a really nice feature to have now talking about stock apps it has some particular apps like this oneplus kind of gallery app is there and we have 
the oxygenous kind of dialer over here but oxygenous dialer did not support the video calling like cellular video calling did not work with it so that's why i have downloaded the google dialer and with that video calling and stuff is working perfectly fine right now but for call recording it has specifically this bcr and with this bcr you can record any call that you are willing to and i have this auto call recording turned on and with that call recording and stuff like that is working perfectly fine here no need to worry about it and for d calling and 5g and all everything is working fine no need to worry about cellular stuff let's talk about the stock camera well you are getting the Leica camera version 5 here and with that all the lenses switching option the 1x 2x options everything is working fine in the video mode you can go up to 4k and 60 fps and as you can see it is working perfectly fine and right now it shows 4k and 60 fps as you can see here with the rear camera and if you switch to the front camera you can go and shoot up to 1080p 60 fps over here no need to worry about it and even with that as you can see the front camera and stuff everything is working fine and in the portrait mode you will see yes that too is working perfectly fine for the selfies and stuff with the portrait mode with the front camera and with the rear camera as well the portrait mode pictures should be working fine and in the documents mode you can shoot enhanced mode documents and there is also the pro mode options and you can take pro mode photos or videos if you want to all these functionalities are working fine here and swiping down will get you these many features over here and you can choose whichever you want to and swiping up will get you this vlog vlog short film and we have the slow motion and all everything should be working perfectly fine here and of course you are noticing the samples from the side of the screen and the quality with this like a camera version 5 with the pictures are really really awesome no need to worry about it at all the camera over here is really optimized that i have to say now let's just quickly talk about the settings panel it just straight up looks beautiful as you can see it looks unique it has this header kind of image and if you just tap here you will get to see the wallpapers and styles and if you just tap here you will get to see the like admin kind of panel or you can change the administrator stuff and we have the battery info the storage it shows different panel it has a search option and with this you can go into the system right here and we have this matrix settings there you will find the customization i'll show you the customization in the later part of the video but if you just start scrolling on the settings panel just notice how quickly the search animation appears i mean the search panel appears looks really beautiful and here in the battery settings let's talk about the battery life first this is how it looks like looks really really cool has this animation we have the battery percentage right here and the thermal profiles are present and you can set per apps thermal profile to these benchmark browser camera dialer gaming streaming etc options and we have the battery saver the charging control is there if you enable that fast charging will slow down we have the battery optimization per app you can set and we also have the battery temperature the design battery capacity the current battery capacity and the charging cycles are also showing up so that's a really nice thing it's a little bit grayed out i don't know why all these things are actually showing up and i just love to have the charging cycles right there in the battery settings now let's talk about the battery life these are all estimated numbers guys but just notice i have got about 10 hours of screen on time or nine and a half hours of screen on time even though they are estimated numbers and the screen of here shows 62 hours or you can say that's the standby time and the combined use shows as 15 hours or 16 hours but definitely it will last you more if you are a normal user i use the device heavily and in the health settings this actually is estimating my battery health to about 90 percent so i'd say that's a decent amount of battery health that i have over here and fast charging and all everything is working fine here no need to worry about fast charging in this particular rom and in the app settings you are getting the android 14 kind of features like the cloned apps and stuff so dual apps will be working perfectly fine if you want to create two accounts of whatsapp you can do that from this particular feature in the notifications it shows this kind of really cool looking animations again and if you just scroll down a little bit more we will get the flash notification and with this this is how it will look like in the sound and vibration settings this is how it looks like we get the media call ring etc volume controls that do not disturb the phone ringtone stuff spatial audio is there and it is actually working i guess and we have the vibration and haptics and the power app volume control all these sound settings are there also the dolby atmos is there and we have the choose preset or profile option and there is a normal kind of equalizer presets and the surround virtualizer options are there and there's the stereo widening and stuff like that and the dialogue enhancer all these things bass enhancer volume leveler all these functionalities are there if you want to use them you definitely can the clear speaker option is also there talking about the volume panel it looks like this and you can expand the volume panel normally like this and you can put the phone into vibrate or silent from here and you can change the output device from right here and every time it works really really well and just look at the animation how smooth it looks like every time from the volume panel if i just show you again it looks really nice and it works perfectly fine in the display settings this is how it looks like we have the brightness level adaptive or auto brightness yes that is actually working fine as you can see there is the one shot auto brightness too in case you want to use that but most of the time i would say the brightness actually goes really high if you enable the auto brightness and we have the extra dim and there is a lock screen settings there is the privacy controls then the use device control option and the shortcuts of the lock screen you can actually change from right here 
let me go back we have the dynamic clock always show time and info and the always on display scheduling option is there you can turn it on from sunset to sunrise and stuff like that and there is the lift to check phone as well and there is the ambient display and wake screen for notification option and there is the dark theme of course we have the pure black option in the dark mode we have the display size and text night light and in the live display we have the reading mode and the color calibration of the screen and then we have the colors you can change it to boosted saturated adaptive etc options and we have the rotation settings and you can set it to 180 degree and stuff like that peak refresh rate you can change up to 120 hertz and even the minimum refresh rate you can change to 60 hertz there is a screen saver and the allow window level blurs double tap to wake and sleep and the wake up on plug then we have the per app refresh you can change it up to 120 hertz in the wallpapers and styles this is how it looks like and in the home screen settings let me show you the wallpapers these are the wallpapers you will get i have been using it with this one but there are more matrix wallpapers this is the default wallpaper that you will get in this room but there are a plethora of more options for the wallpapers they look really really beautiful but you can use any wallpaper that you are willing to we have the themed icons and the app grid is there up to again 6 by 10 and we have the icons you have the icon pack changing option and they are there in the customization settings also and there are the fonts as well plethora of fonts are here including with the nothing dot font and stuff and all these fonts are there in the lock screen there are the lock screen clocks and plethora of options for the lock screen clocks are there you can use it with this one or even more android 14 clocks are there so yeah you can choose whichever clock you want to in the security settings this is how it looks like in the device unlock in the settings of it we have the quick unlock and all these other features that you are looking at i have already set up my fingerprint but first let me just set up the face unlock for now setting up face unlock was done easy more settings good thing is you will also get this app lock over here this is the same app lock which is there in the launcher settings so for now i'm gonna turn on the lift check phone and i'll show you if the pickup gesture is actually working fine or not so i'll just double tap anywhere in the home screen that is working and if i just put the device on the desk and just pick it up on my hand as you can see pickup gesture is working but it is letting me in the lock screen not in the always on display so that's how it is even though i have the show ambient mode enabled so that's how it is for the pickup gesture but now i'll show you with the always on display how it looks like and with this this is how it looks like in the always on display and if i go into the lock screen the clock animations looks beautiful and the fingerprint scanner is also working fine and if i change the clock style here in the always on display this is how it looks like and the always on display is really cool it's working perfectly fine and the animations with it are working as you can see in the always on display and lock screen just notice the really cool looking animation and here the fingerprint scanner is working perfectly fine no issues so far and it's really fast the ripple effect and stuff everything is working perfectly fine no problem so far with the fingerprint scanner over here and for the face unlock let me show you i'll just double tap and point the device towards my face as you can see it unlocks let me try one more time i'll just go into the lock screen and point the device towards my face and it straight up unlocks so face unlock and fingerprint both are working also with the app lock let me show you yes see you can also unlock the app with face unlock as you can see right now we are in the app and right now i'll just try to open it and i'll put the fingerprint scanner and as you can see it unlocks so app lock face unlock and the fingerprint everything is working perfectly fine here no issues so far now talking about the performance well with test for website it always shows 120 hertz or 120 fps so 120 hertz all over the ui is working perfectly fine no need to worry about it also in gaming and all everything the performance and all everything is perfectly fine as you can see in twitter as well the scrolling it's just a very smooth experience no problems so far that i have faced with twitter as you can see and even when i open some different app like play store and even youtube The scrolling is very smooth no problem so far with it so yeah really great experience and switching between apps is not a problem either and if i try to open all the apps from memory and even from the recent panel the ram management here is working perfectly fine even though i have the 8 gb ram unit of the poco f5 and in case you are wondering on this particular build here are the android gpn score with a cpu stress test to give you guys an idea about the overall ui performance now let's talk about the customizations well they are there in this matrix settings and in here you will find huge amount of customizations it shows welcome to matrix up top and we have the about matrix section and in the buttons we have the customization starting from we have the click trick partial screenshot in the power menu we have all these advanced restart secure lock screen and all other customizations that you can notice from here we have the end call long press power button toggle torch automatically turn off torch timer we have wake device answer call control playback all these things let me go back and in the lock screen we have the clock fonts or font styles actually you can get these are the android 13 kind of clock font styles but if you want to use it just go into your wallpapers and styles and just select default clock then you will get all these clock styles working we have the media cover art then the battery info on the lock screen and we have the weather kind of settings for lock screen 
you scroll down more we have the double tap to sleep fingerprint authentication and a lot of vibration and ripple effect and there is a power menu access you can disable it and in the miscellaneous settings we have the game space and you can add any game that you have on your phone and you can have the gaming overlay and all with that fps overlay stuff and we have the unlock higher fps in games unlimited google photo storage netflix poof and the swipe to screenshot is there as well and it has the share edit delete the google lens and even the capture mode feature appears so huge amount of features you will get even for the screenshots and we have the sensor block per package pocket addiction and the ignore windows secure flags and the hide developer status option is there even if you have developer options turned on you can use those particular apps in the navigations we have this navigation bar pixel animation and the show arrow keys while typing and all invert layout then the back long press action and stuff like that in the notifications we have this noise and notification full stop button show clipboard overlay heads up and the eyelid notifications are working perfectly fine no issues less boring heads up and the timeout for that is there and in the quick settings we have the header image customization you can turn it on from here and you can choose any header image from here it's a smooth experience it doesn't lag at all if i select this one as you can see header images are working perfectly fine no problems with them for the time being i'll just turn it off you can even customize the header image if you want to the clock font size for the quick setting panel itself you can customize the battery styles are there and we have the battery percentage height quick setting on secure lock screen brightness slider position you can have it on show always and to bottom we have the haptic feedback auto brightness icon brightness percentage and you can also change the quick setting panel styles from here and these are the options for that we have the quick setting tile layout as well you can customize and the tile shapes and stuff you can customize and even the ui you can have the android 11 kind of quick setting panel if you want to then we have the dual tone theme option then the background opacity you can change then we have the animation styles data usage and the clear all notification options is there and if you just decrease the background opacity for this let me actually show you this is how it looks like and you will get the background blur looks really beautiful i have to say with the background blur in the quick setting panel so huge amount of customizations pretty much and in the sound settings we have the pulse settings right here and you can have the lock screen pulse, snap bar pulse, etc. The volume steps are there. Then we have the screenshot sound disabling option, adaptive playback, and the volume panel style you can actually change. I have been using it with this revamped USB style, but you can also go with Realme UI style, rising UI style, all these things. So huge amount of customizations, even for the volume panel is there. You can have the volume panel on the left side, even the timeout for that you can change. In the status bar, we have the status bar icons from here. You can enable the headset, Bluetooth, etc. icons. Then we also have the clock style. You can have it on right or left or hidden. Then we have the clock and date style for the status bar itself and you can customize it however you want to so you can customize pretty much you get the idea we have the data disabled icon intro traffic indicator and we have the 4g icon then the roaming indicator bluetooth battery stats and the wi-fi standards mic and camera privacy kind of stuff location privacy etc icons you can enable and the colored icons show notification icons and you can have a custom logo if you want to from right here and by default it shows the project metrics kind of logo and we have the battery styles as well i have been using it with the ios 16 style but you can also go with these many other styles just notice plethora of options are here just for the battery style and the percentage you can have it on next to the icon right or left even the battery bar options are there and there is a double tap to sleep brightness control by sliding a finger on the status bar you can control we have the quick pull down as well then we have the top padding left padding right padding this is really cool that we get the thorough status bar padding customization in the user interface we have the settings home page widget and we have the ambient display kind of customization the charging animation you can turn it on or off from here full screen apps you can customize that we have the smart pixels the screen of animation you can change we have the ui style as well you can change that and we have the advanced monet theme settings you can change the luminance chroma factor etc and we also have the nav bar styles so if you are using two or three button navigation you can use these and we also have the font styles and these are the font styles again which are present and here we have the icon packs as well these are the options for that we also have the wi-fi icon styles as well and even the signal icon styles are present then we have the icon shapes and these are the options for that we also have the floating rotate button and that's pretty much it for the customizations of this rom so huge amount of customizations is there also the stability overall i have to say it's really great to use this rom as a daily driver with all these customizations with the leica camera working perfectly fine and with app lock and stuff this rom is really one of the most like customizable perfect options for the poco f5 that i can say for now at least based on android 14. so let me know in the comments what do you guys think about the latest project matrix rom on the poco f5 and if you have loved it or not and if you did make sure you share this video to your friends so that they get to know how the poco f5 is managing these android 14 based custom roms give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is tito from kdnx signing off for today and i'll be watching you guys in the next one bye now